to Adam Bolton soon uh, for more uh, on what's happening in Scotland. But first, we have just got some breaking news uh, to bring you now. And there's been a resignation uh, from uh, Labour's uh, shadow frontbench team. Uh, Caleb Mood, uh, the MP for Birmingham, Perry Barr, the shadow defence secretary, uh, shadow defence minister, I should say. We can bring in now our deputy political editor, Sam Coates. What are the details? So I think for the first time, we've got a Labour MP articulating the scale of the problem that Keir Starmer is facing. We haven't had it from any of the front bench who've been on uh, really today. Khalid Mahmood has released a um, statement, an article for Policy Exchange, which is actually a Tory-leaning, right-leaning uh, think tank that sets out the scale of the problem. Uh, let me read you a little bit of it. Um, he says, we have to recognise that the party has lost its way. It's only by engagement at a local level, meeting eye to eye, uh, that we will fix that. I will not be doing so from the Labour front bench, but by walking the streets of my constituency as a backbencher and talking face to face with the people I have the honour to serve. He also says, my view is simple. In the past decade, a decade in which he has been a front bencher for much of it, Labour has lost touch with ordinary British people, a London-based bourgeoisie with the support of brigades of woke social media warriors has affected, effectively captured the party. They mean well, of course, but their politics, obsessed by identity, division and even tech utopianism, have more in, com in common with those of Californian high society than the kinds of people who voted in Hartlepool yesterday. The loudest vo voices of the Labour movement over the past year in particular have focused more on pulling down Churchill statues than they have on helping people pull themselves up in the world. No wonder it's doing better amongst urban, rich, liberals and young university graduates than amongst the most important part of its traditional electoral co coalition, the working class. An absolutely devastating assessment across the waterfront, saying that generations of Labour leaders, from Ed Miliband onwards, he seems to suggest, have totally misunderstood the country, which is why uh, the rot has set in. Uh, it will be uh, for Keir Starmer to articulate answers to those questions rather than the questions he set himself in that brief um, but uncritical self-interview uh, uh, interview earlier, I think that will define the next few days. Uh, an absolutely devastating critique there by Caleb Mamou. Clearly uh, doesn't believe Keir Starmer's a passenger to turn around Labour's fortunes. Um, thank you, Sam Coates.